to stay afloat. It's nice. Every day, and my family's doing Be a all around everywhere, you doing their own thing. Get somebody. Um, but I want to show you guys my latest update and then take you guys along with me on another update. Um, I would have taken you guys along with me on this one because my last remodel did so well on here. But honestly, I didn't even think to do it till halfway through it. So let me show you what it looks like now and I'll show you what it looked like before. All I have to do is finish this last piece right here and nail the bottom trim up. I do need to go over the paint in certain areas and then I need to paint the top trim, the trims around the doors, and the trim around my vent. But this is what it looks like now. This wall over here is going to be a collage wall and if you guys are interested in me showing you what I do and filming that process, then I'll do that. But as of right now, this is what we got going on in here. Now, I'll show you guys right now what it looked like the before. It was terrible, y'all. While we did buy this a few years ago, and it is only a 2014, it was owned by a previous smoker, and the carpets, the walls, the ceilings, you could tell. That drywall in the back was cheap. It was a mess. But now, I'm going to take you guys along with me and redo my small bathroom. Um, let me show you what I'm working with. It's not very much. These are the floors that came in the mobile home when we bought it. They always look so disgusting. It doesn't matter. It's like that fake grout that's in the middle of those tiles. It's actually a sheet of um, just like a, a rug flooring. Um, but I think they put that in there to make it look like real and authentic. It doesn't. It makes it look grimy and dirty. So I'm super excited about tackling and redoing these floors. I'm just putting the same... Um, the same flooring that I have throughout my house. It's the Traffic Master, I believe, in Taupe Oak. It's nothing but a shower curtain and an unfinished DIY project. And a dirty mirror. So, <laughs> this is literally all that I'm working with. So, let's see what we can do. Stay afloat, it's nice, be a person you don't want Can somebody Take me of the thing Going to do Going to do Where's the So let me show you what I'm working with Underneath that faux granite Okay, that was this faux granite stuff I ordered online um, I put it, I also have it in my kitchen It's doing great in my kitchen And this, I kind of pieced it together On this vanity So it didn't do so hot But Underneath that fake granite, um, I had attempted to do a fake granite with uh, acrylic paint. I'd seen a bunch of people try that and a lot of people it worked out well for it. For me, it did not. I mean, I think it's because I'm one of those people who I don't really read directions very well. I just all over it and just go head first in it. This is what it turned out for me. I did seal it, but I got this dirty, grimy looking, just dark. <laughs> <laughs> top um so we're gonna <laughs> guys i don't know about this we're gonna try to make it work let's go okay so while i was taking a towel off <laughs> The mirror fell off on my head. So, oh gosh. Okay, so honestly, I was panicking because I had no idea what my move was going to be. But I found some of this. Um, it's not contact paper, but it's shelf lining. Um, I was hoping it was contact paper. I found this in my cabinet, but it's shelf lining. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it out like I've just done here, all around it. Heavy duty montage it to the actual sink top and then mod podge over it um, and see if maybe, like I said, I, you know, sometimes it's a fail, sometimes it's not. We I don't know yet, but we're going to see. I can't really film it because I don't have a tripod, but what I'm doing is, is I've mod podge it to the surface, but there's a little excess here. So what I'm doing is I'm literally just taking little 10 penny nails tiny little nails like these 
and I'm hammering them to the bottom of this to secure it even more because this door does open back and forth. So this will just give it more secure security. <laughs> okay, so I got a little helper helping me. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. I'm taking these little nails and a hammer and then underneath of it, can we move it this way, Jay? Yeah. Right there, there you go. Underneath of it here, I'm going to just like that, just to give it more um, durability. Okay, so sealant is still drying on some places on it, but guys, I'm impressed. Um, now I'm going to hi, <laughs> clean um, this window and then I'm going to um, I'm going to utilize this because I love this um, shelf. I think I'm going to antique stain it real quick. And then I'm going to seal this because I painted this, never sealed it. I was going to originally paint this, but against that countertop, I'm really liking that dark brown. That's the same espresso color that's in my kids, on my kitchen cabinets. Um, so I'm going to seal this and antique that next, I believe. But I'm liking it. I'm, I, I was freaked out when I saw when I first took the tiles off and stuff, but I'm really liking it so far. So let's, let's keep moving. Guys, I spent one dollar on this bathroom. That shower curtain was from the Dollar Tree. One dollar. I already had the cabinet liner for the countertops, already had the sealant, already had the stain, already had the flooring. The mirrors on the wall were gifted to me by my grandmother. I literally spent one dollar on this bathroom. That pumpkin sign up there, my husband painted. I made that farmhouse sign out of an inverted canvas one dollar you cannot beat that i love the finished product of this i love how it turned out i can't wait to do more stuff like this around my house and bring you guys along with me I am super excited about it. So I will see you guys next time. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, night, whatever it is, wherever you're at. God bless. I'll see you later.